r slash asserted what's the wildest thing you've ever heard teacher say in class seventh grade substitute teacher black man told the whole class the whole black dude slash big dick thing it's a myth we're just like everyone else whole class just sat there slack jawed till the black student to my right said he lying he didn't need to make it that obvious ha 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 would have been great if he shouted nope it's just you please tell me this was during sex ed this fact comes from unsurprisingly racism people would portray black people as sex crazed animals without self-control who had big dicks to go along with it link fourth grade teacher leaned down to the girl a couple seat over during the slavery section in our history book and said to her in this time they would have called you an i told my parents about this and nobody believed me was he straight up racist or was this just a really poor choice of comment high school science teacher told my class that a kilometer was longer than a mile refused to budge when refuted and kicked out several students for doing so classic teacher defense mechanism i had a literature teacher who told the class that he didn't believe in dinosaurs because the universe is only a couple thousand years old the bones were put there by satan thank fuck he wasn't a science or history teacher my very well respected biology teacher in college spent almost an entire lecture telling us that jamie lee curtis was a hermaphrodite it seemed oddly personal to him man just on principle of loving dinosaurs i hate the mfer psych teacher in high school told us that one in ten of the people we're friends with in high school would be dead within five years of graduating at the time i thought it was hyperbole but it turns out he was being conservative three of the people in my high school friend group were dead by the time i was 22. one was the obligatory dui crash right after graduation one was killed during desert storm and one overdosed on heroin ha huh. jokes on him i didn't have any friends my english teacher told us that he genuinely believes that the rothschilds own a hotel for aliens in the bermuda triangle you've never been you've got to try their spa probably true honestly they are time travelers for sure it's not beyond them hey dumbass you were the one who asked me about this so why don't you stop talking to your friend and pay attention it was me i was the teacher i got in trouble for calling the kid a dumbass that's unfair kids are dumbass good to know i'm not the only teacher sent to the principal's office for calling a student a name didn't hear this personally but read in a book about a guy who recalled his teacher skipping chapters in a textbook and saying you will not need to know this when you are down in the mines maybe he just discovered that the name jamie can be a boy or a girl so can lee and so can curtis lol k i'm a teacher and i'm still laughing female health teacher told us men couldn't be raped we then had to go through magazines that she provided to show examples of companies trying to use sex to sell products first magazine I opened had an article about a lady that caught some guy in Russia while he was breaking into a building. She tied him up and force fed him Viagra, then raped him for over a week before letting him go. That's that's a wild task to set kids ha ha ha. I never did anything like that in school. Fifth grade teacher, Mount Whitney in California is the tallest mountain in the world. Fifth grade me blurts out, no it isn't, Mount Everest is. Whitney is not even the tallest mountain in the USA, which is Mount McKinley in Alaska. I got in trouble for contradicting the teacher. My dad was forced to write Vikings are from Russia not Norway 100 times when he contradicted the history teacher he had. Teacher walked into the class adjusting his belt as he said kids I've got something to how you. For a second we all low-key thought he was getting it out. I had a teacher walk into class one day and say to a group of girls is that a banana in my pocket, or am I just pleased to see you, then he pulled out a banana. We all took it as the joke it was intended to be, but he might not have gotten away with that if he said it nowadays. Now girls, don't you let them boys touch your breasts. It'll give you cancer. Wouldn't that be so wild? It would be awesome in regards to the Lockerbie terrorist plane bombing as passengers were falling 30k feet to the ground. What did you all react like? Not heard but my freshman year high school teacher once pulled a bottle of Jack out of his desk and took a shot during class. He was dying so towards the end I think he just stopped caring. A teacher in elementary school claimed during history class that the Colosseum was in Greece, as an Italian kid I was very confused, this was in Mexico. I said whoever threw that, yo mom's a ho dot. My 7th grade science class was watching a documentary about desert wildlife. A large female dung beetle was being chased by 3 or 4 smaller males. Many of the kids were gasping and giggling. The teacher's response to the kids, I think it's kinda kinky. The room went silent. 
My 7th grade teacher blocked the projector when the nature documentary we watched showed squirrels mating. Fun lol. That only gay people listen to Coldplay. In fact, no one listens to Coldplay. In a keyboarding slash typing class, we had a teacher who really liked to remind the one Native American kid that, everyone thinks you were peaceful people, but your tribes were always at war with each other, even before white settled America. He really only cared about weed and BMC. I think every other student was way more offended than he was. Get to cover. Charlie is in the wire. Dude had a flashback and a complete breakdown. Wow, care to elaborate on that story? Damn that's sad. As long as it was just one that's fair enough I reckon. I can tell what reading group you will be in by looking at you. Mrs. Jenkins my third grade teacher. Please don't tell me this was race related. Come visit me at my apartment pool this summer. Here's my number. My red hot German teacher at the reception after my graduation ceremony. Idiot fool that I was, I didn't go. That's a crazy fumble. Who knows, he could have been a serial killer. My 9th grade biology teacher to this girl named Fallon, yelling how come you're such a bitch. Did Fallon explain why she is such a bitch? What was her reason? Religious studies teacher. Jesus didn't hate money lenders, he was just angry that as king of kings, he didn't get his cut. Shadow priest vibes. Supply side Jesus. Had the head of the department in college claim in class that anyone who actually needs accommodations for mental health issues should not be in college to begin with. This was while we were discussing the death of a salesman and the discussion had veered over to unhealthy pressure and social standards for success. Ah yes, Jesus, famously obsessed with obtaining money. In physics class, one of the lads was sat at the end of the row singing away to himself. The teacher turned around and, no word of a lie, said I don't mind you singing, but it's the fact that you're pish. Edit, spelling. Gotta be in Scotland. A jack of all trade teacher, not a substitute, telling a student to remove his shirt or he would cut the shirt off his back with a Stanley knife. The shirt said I trust Wikipedia more than your crappy outdated textbooks. A teacher in freshman year of high school once called a kid a sexy beast. I don't remember the context of the comment but it was really fucking weird considering she was like 50 and he was 14. Don't think context can save that one. Holy fuck, I had an English teacher refer to a classmate in the same way. It was around the time the movie Sexy Beast was out so may have been a reference. No, I never saw it. Similar. Had a teacher exclaim if I was 20 years younger. High school, upper class English teacher considered herself to be a paragon of liberal values. Told the girls in class that day you should be striving to live your lives free from all male influence and never, under any circumstances, should you be in a relationship with one. She then told the boys you are all just little deviants who will grow into bigger deviants. She then wondered aloud why most students dropped her class by the end of the week. In middle school our teacher had a guest speaker slash friend I think come in to talk. It was a health class. She told us a story about how she had a couple's friend and she liked to watch them get it on and she would get the munchies for chips while watching. It ended up being a made up story. It was a long time ago so I don't remember all the details or why she made it up but I do remember the class being silent and me saying out loud that's jacked up. Gotta be a law professor or something. In 8th grade my teacher was talking about sex ed. He said that if you had semen in your hand you can feel the sperm moving around while making a cupping motion as if he had semen in his hand at that moment. After that he said he even put his own semen under a microscope before to see the sperm individually. We all avoided being alone in the same room as him after that. Yeah I should in his shoes, he was being a little asshole to the girls in class, never change coach, never change. Somebody call 911 I just cut my finger off. This was the end of my 8th grade shop class teacher's demonstration on how to safely use a table saw. He was so calm and matter of fact about it that none of us freaked. One kid puked, but that was the worst of it. They reattached the finger. You won't have a calculator with you at all times. Almost right, we have many computers in our pockets instead. Seems like the message went in the door and out the window. Wow, fuck that dude, 